This morning, the work continues in Hardy County. Linemen will work on restoring the power there. Homeowners will continue cleaning up fallen trees and branches, and first responders will be back on boats looking for survivors along the flooded Peace River. Action News reporter Chad Mills is live in Hardy County with a warning from those first responders. Kylie, let me first of all give you a little perspective about where it is I am standing this morning. This is US 17 and it's obviously not the size of an I-75, something like that, but it is an important artery here in Hardy County, runs north south and gets people to Hardy County to DeSoto County and Arcadia behind me. But you can see right now they can't get to Arcadia. There is a mound of dirt blocking US 17 heading south out of Zolfo Springs. And that dirt is there for an, a very important reason. They don't want people driving through because of what's just on the other side of that dirt. Kind of dark right now, hard to show you, but I wanna show you a picture that Florida Highway Patrol tweeted overnight showing people the damage on US 17 where a creek, it's an offshoot of the Peace River, has risen to such a level that there are close to a dozen cars stalled out in that water. That apparently happened some time ago, about 24 to 36 hours ago, but the river still so high, they haven't really been able to do anything with those vehicles moving them out. Obviously the water is still there as well. Road is barricaded and that is the message from Florida Highway Patrol and the Hardy County Sheriff's Office this morning. They want people to obey those barricades because it could be a matter of life or death. Very dark power out across the county, so it's really hard to see where floodwaters are on the road. River levels, even though they are going down slowly, still high this morning and first responders will be out to attempt more rescues like the one you see right yesterday. Here's a man who escaped his RV before it nearly flooded his campsite. Right here, pretty bad. I've never seen this before in my life. Not this kind of water, not, not, not how quick it rose. I mean, it went from being dry on the ground to this. This flooding is impacting Hardy County in so many ways. It's also preventing county workers from accessing important water pumps, which means water is a valuable resource in the county right now and potentially a limited resource if overused until they can access those pumps. The county overnight urging people to limit their water use as best possible, only flush when you need to, according to Hardy County emergency workers. We're live here in Hardy County this morning. Chad Mills, ABC Action News.